on this video we're going to be talking about the amenities and also the furniture really just everything i have uh, inside my uh, airbnb units or i'll just say short-term rental units because they're also on our vrbo and i might actually be looking at entertaining some uh, direct bookings pretty soon for those of y'all that don't know i actually uh, started being an airbnb host a little over a year ago and i kind of did it as an experiment to see like how much money i can make did i like things and uh in general i do like it so i'm going to continue doing it but uh it was an experiment for a reason i found out what worked what didn't work and what's good to have when uh starting out and when you're going to get another unit uh, what are some key things that you want to use like uh what things are good to have in the bedroom in the kitchen in the living room in the, in the bathroom that's what this video is for plus a lot of people have been asking like uh, what kind of stuff do you have in your units so this video is uh, meant for y'all with that being said let's go ahead and hop into it so um one thing to note about this is um everything that i'm taking a look at these are linked in the description and the pinned comment in my kit.co so everything is conglomerated in one spot if at any point you want to uh, check any of these out to put in your units or just to uh, have and um, i also want to say that uh from an interior design perspective like each property is going to be different so things like uh, sheets and stuff like that or overall design not really including a lot of that stuff because that's going to vary from property to property i might make another video in the future with a conglomeration of like interior design stuff but that's not what this video is for this is more the bare bones of stuff that's good to have now one thing to keep in mind is the clientele i'm catering to is traveling business professionals uh, traveling nurses remote workers you know, really uh, professional people not so much leisure travelers so my amenities are going to be geared more towards them so let's go ahead and get started uh, starting off i uh, always get the zenith uh, bed frame which can be uh, gotten off of uh, amazon because um in general it's just a very strong bed frame and it's very easy uh, to set up so it, it scales very nicely whether you're putting it together or you want to have it assembled when you arrive I, i've never done that it's so easy to put together i haven't even considered that but it's an option moving on as far as the uh, mattresses i use I always i uh, use wayfair because it's uh, economical and it actually is a uh, pretty comfortable it's a soft bed and i've gotten uh, several compliments from guests that have said that they really enjoyed the bed experience specifically related to the bed you can see those uh, popping up on the screen right now so i don't see any reason to change if uh, guests are happy with it so moving on we're gonna exit out of that and uh this is actually a big one but uh i always get a uh a bed cover now this is pretty critical because uh, let's say if a child is in the bed and they have an accident or something spills on the bed like wine or just a number of things just fluids get on the bed that end up staining like the mattress well if someone sees that by any chance like your next guest uh, you're not going to be a five-star host and uh, you may actually get dinged as far as like uh unprofessional cleaning you might even have to refund the clean fee we don't want that even if you manage to scrub it out it's usually going to leave a mark plus it could leave a, a scent that's unfavorable so i always have a bed cover because uh it's easier to replace a 36 37 dollar bed cover than it is to replace a 600 dollars king size mattress so i i don't know what i would do without it I'm, i don't think i really need to say much more in that regard Moving on, we're gonna go to the pillows. Now, when it comes to uh, pillows, in uh, general, I found that these are the uh, most comfortable, at least for not just for me, but also for guests. Pretty uh, self-explanatory. Moving on from that, one of the, this is one of the things that is kind of uh, catered towards my uh, customer avatar. But uh, you see, this is a table. I have one on each side of the bed in my uh, units and in particular this is great for if you have books available to read because it has a rack that they cannot be stored and obviously um other things can be put on the top too but more importantly i really like this rack because uh, not only is uh, my book in uh, the rack that people can have access to read while they're staying in the unit but i do have a collection of uh, other books that people tend to uh, enjoy now keep in mind i already said who my customer avatar is but i keep a, a good variety of books some about astrology some about like uh, health and wellness some about finance and some about business that usually creates a a, a great mix and uh all the books are interacted with so that tells me that i'm doing a pretty good job 
yeah, most interactive with book is my book because they see that I'm the host. I have a book. They usually check it out. But um, the second one is usually a book about astrology. So if you're going to make some available, a lot of people are very intrigued about astrology when they're staying short term somewhere. Just something to keep in mind. Next, we have a, a fan. Now, this is important because um, for those of y'all that are doing rental arbitrage, the unit may or may not come with a fan. But some people literally need to feel the breeze when they're going to sleep or need to hear the sound of a fan. It plays a big role in them being able to actually get to sleep. So you want to make sure you have it available. And if the unit doesn't come with it, even if the unit does come with it, I always want to keep a portable fan because let's say they want to have the fan on them while they're in the living room or living quarters and there's no fan in there. If you just provide a fan, you're giving the customer what they want. You're giving the customer more control over their experience. And of course, a customer that has more control over the experience is going to find the experience to be a lot more favorable. Scrolling down, we have a phone charger. And this one is overlooked by a lot of people. But uh, this is a, a charger that has uh, several outlets, as you can see. And they can plug into multiple phones. So if you're serving multiple people in your units, like uh, you know, like four or five guests, this is something they really appreciate. But uh, even for someone like me that mainly deals in studio apartments, uh, some people have more than one phone. It's not that like out there to have more than one phone. I mean, y'all have seen me have two phones. So having that available is definitely much appreciated by guests. And there's some that's not really that expensive. So you just put it in there, they appreciate it, and they are going to use it. I, I can really speak from experience when it comes to that. Next, we have the hangers. A lot of people don't actually think to include hangers, but uh, you definitely want to include them because it makes things more convenient uh, for guests. Now, um, one thing about the hangers is they may take them. So um, I'm actually working on getting a sign in my closet that says like, it has a hanger and then it has a stop sign and it basically says uh, do not take hanger fees will apply because uh, you know hangers do cost something and we want to make sure they're available for all guests to hang their clothes up but we're not giving the hangers away for free so if i do manage to get that sign made um whoever i use to get the sign made i'll be sure to link it in the description because that's something to consider uh, having made like a sign like that would cost an extra maybe ten dollars put it in front of them so they know not to take them but i do think you need hangers in uh, your unit coming back to kit.co we have the uh roll out uh, sofa bed or not roll out sofa bed the uh, roll away bed so this will allow you to actually accommodate more guests in an apartment or wherever you are and this is good because the more guests you can accommodate Theoretically, the more money you can make because multiple people are pitching in on this trip. So you'll be able to uh, serve more people and make more money. So this is a rollaway bed that I personally use. Um, I haven't got any complaints with it. It's uh, pretty economical, but it does this uh, job. You want to make sure you do get like sheets and uh, a comforter or duvet cover and insert for uh, your rollaway bed because you don't want to just have the bed and then just have like nothing to support it. So Coming back to the kit.co, we have earplugs. So we don't know what's going on in the apartments that we're in oftentimes if uh, you're doing rental arbitrage with an apartment. Or even if you're not, if someone's traveling with multiple guests, maybe someone wants to get some sleep and everyone else is watching TV in the living room and walls are thin and you know they can't get sleep. Having these earplugs is just something that people can use and it really does not cost that much to have it's one of those things that it's just great to have on standby customers well guests appreciate it i mean i literally still have the box of them in my first unit that i bought for the unit and maybe a total of six of them have been used so people aren't using them a lot because they may not need to but having it available definitely doesn't hurt or it hurts eight dollars and 99 cents i think we can live with that that concludes basically the uh, everything that we're talking about in the bedroom. We're gonna be moving to the living quarters. And uh, next we have the uh, sofa that I have, well, the futon rather that I have in uh, my units. Now, um, I don't actually advertise that this is a, a futon because I don't want people coming in with the expectation that, hey, you'll sleep on the bed, you'll sleep on the futon because it will decrease the uh, value that this couch can have for you if people are sleeping on it you're gonna have to replace it sooner people are just sitting on it 
and then you know going to the bedroom to sleep then um it's gonna last longer i just want them to see that a futon is available once they arrive and maybe one out of every 20 people actually uses it but i don't advertise that i have a futon because people will use it and you'll be replacing it pretty dang soon so this is what i roll with pretty customizable to the uh, guest experience they can lean it further back they can uh, lean it forward really uh, up to them next we have a uh, blanket now um, my barber is the one to put me on this but once i told him that i had a few units on the airbnb he asked me if i had a blanket i said uh no i don't he said well during the winter it was the summer when he told me this but during the winter you know people are going to really run that heater if it's cold outside makes sense but if you have a blanket some people won't run it they'll just uh, grab that blanket you know get under the covers and you know watch tv in fact some people actually prefer that over turning the heater on so this is a fixed cost that heater running you know that's a reoccurring cost so having this blanket will save you um, some money or just having any uh, blanket in general so you want to make sure you just have one in your property and if you're serving uh i want to say for every three guests you have at least one blanket but if you want to go overkill however many guests you're accommodating you could equal the amount of guests that you can accommodate to a blanket fully up to you next we have a tv a roku tv so uh, it really comes down to your taste in TV. I mean, I've uh, been using Roku TVs for quite some time, even before using them in my short-term rentals. It's basically a TV that has access to all the streaming services and all the apps within reason that you can uh, download and install on the uh, TV. So how big you go depends on how big you want to. I think the standard would be a 43-inch, but um, I, want, I like to go a little above the standard. But if you wanted to really zero in on it you could get 75 inch i think that a 50 inch will suffice if i'm uh, i'm being honest so that goes for the uh the tv next we have the stand that the tv goes on you want to make sure that the stand is bigger than the tv itself otherwise obviously it's not going to fit then you'll have a, a problem uh, what i really like about this is the tv always goes obviously on top uh right here on the next to it uh, that's a great place to put the uh, router for the uh, internet and these middle places are a good place to put like games like chess stuff like that in fact in one of my units I do have a, a chess board right there but um, that's rather what I really like about this stand moving on we have the dining table I like this because it's actually great for a studio apartment it doesn't take up a lot of space but it can accommodate up to uh, four people so that's the uh, table that I roll with, and it's actually pretty easy uh, to put together. Next, we have the chairs that come with it. Now, I buy the chairs in uh, sections of, not sections, but in uh, packs of two. And uh, now this is actually pretty important if you're gonna be doing the studio apartment thing. I don't have more than uh, two chairs because uh, I don't want the apartment to be able to accommodate a group of people because I don't want people thinking that they can invite like more than three people because we have occupancy limits that we need to withhold when it comes to city regulations so only three people can be in a studio apartment at a time so there's two chairs at the dining room table and uh then there's obviously the couch honestly they shouldn't need any more than that and that's why i only have uh, two chairs next we have the trash can you uh don't want to forget this because where people if you don't give people a trash can it's going to end up on the floors which is going to make a uh, a bigger problem for your housekeeping team or you if you're doing the housekeeping you don't want that so make sure you get the uh, trash can next we have and th this is my uh, personal favorite thing in the whole unit if i'm going to be honest but this is a, a work desk, but it's not your typical uh, work desk. It's very unique in my opinion, if I do say so myself, mainly because it is a work desk. You pull up a chair, you can start working. You can set up a monitor and everything you need around you. And it's not actually shown on the picture, but there's a lamp that's right above the uh, table. I have uh, a picture of mine put together so you can uh, see what I'm talking about. But uh, what I really like about it is you can turn the light on and off, obviously, but uh, you can uh, plug various devices into the uh, desk itself. And as long as the computer is linked to it, it'll actually register on your computer. So that's actually very accommodating. I've had a lot of guests uh, use this, a lot of remote workers, a lot of people 
will come to town for business that really want a, a workstation. So people really, really, really enjoy this uh, work desk setup because it is pretty unique. It's not just a desk and a place for you to put your computer. It actually has some electronic outlets and things that are pretty useful. So that's good to have, especially if you're catering to the kind of clientele that I'm talking about. Moving on, this is a, uh, these two are equally as important if uh, I do say so myself, but you have the uh, phone stand and a lot of people underestimate this In fact. Mine is right here and this is just perfect when you have like a just like a working area set up you got your computer you got your phone if you need to interact with your phone you just do that press a few buttons then boom and we got back up go to k.co again and you got the uh, laptop stand this is great not everyone uses a laptop stand because they, they might not want the computer so high but some people do so why not just give them the option so this is part of the reason I actually am able to really serve this clientele of remote workers and uh, not just remote workers, but people coming in town for business because they value stuff like this. Really think about your customer avatar. Going back next, we're going to work our way through the kitchen. Now, the kitchen contains so many items. If I clicked on them all, we'd be here forever. So I'm just going to briefly like describe what each one is as we hit it. Obviously, you got your, your, your dishes, you got your mugs, your bowls, your plates. I think those are the minimum that you uh, do need to have. You got your oven mitts for people that uh, want to do some cooking. Same goes for a cooking tray. And a rice and grain cooker is pretty popular among uh, people from uh, different uh, cultures, a more ethnic culture, more, more ethnic background, where uh, rice and grains is a pretty big part of the diet. They're going to really appreciate it if uh, you have a uh, rice maker or a rice cooker, rather. And uh, having food trays available. So that people have an option to you know eat at the table or they can eat in front of the TV. Just put the food tray up and boom, they can just uh, eat while they watch TV. Next, we have the silverware holder that goes in the drawers. This one of the things is easy to forget. So, you know, make sure you remember this because you don't want to get the silverware and then you don't have something to keep it there. It's one of those things we kind of take for granted and don't notice when we go somewhere or even in our own uh, places where we live. It's just there. But if you forget about it, it's one of those things you got to have, but it's easily forgettable. So don't forget about it. Next, we have the uh, typical pots and pans. Want to make sure that those are available. Got the uh, silverware. Got the uh, paper towel holder. Utensils. The sponges. And uh, the uh, glasses that people can drink from. Now, I didn't put this in the uh, kit. I might add it afterwards since I just thought about it. But I also have a paper cuts, paper plates, paper spoons, uh, straws too. And the reason that I have those two, I want to give people an option between paper and, uh, you know, real plates and stuff, because I started all this during the pandemic. So a lot of people might be kind of sketchy about like using like dishes that have been used from someone else because, you know, germs and all that, even though dishes have been washed. So giving them the option to just use the paper plates and stuff is pretty popular. In fact, 70% um, of the time, dishes wouldn't even get interacted with the paper cups and paper plates the, yo, those would be disappearing because people were using them ever since the pandemic ended more people have been using the stereotypical dishes but i just like to give people choices next we have the uh, towels of the place now that that's actually supposed to be in the bathroom section but uh, we'll go ahead and talk about it you want to make sure you do have towels now it's up to you what you want to use like colored towels or you know white towels white towels are more associated with uh obviously uh, cleanliness so you can get bonus points for using like white towels but if your overall color scheme is something else and you make the towels part of that color scheme like in my units where i have these brown towels it has a brownish gray color thing scheme so i can kind of get away with that because uh color towels have a longer shelf life than uh, white towels because white towels can get stained and even though the towel itself is no longer dirty it can still get ruined by uh, some fluids. So there's that. Scrolling down, we have the uh, water filter. This is actually a pretty big game changer. So a lot of people actually directly commented saying that they really appreciated the fact that I had this water filter. Because generally speaking, no one wants to drink like unfiltered uh, tap water, but they may not be in a position to go and get Ozarka or whatever. They, they might not even feel like it. But if you have this water filter, all they gotta do is run the water it filters out a lot of stuff and then they can drink uh, tap water that way. 
next we have the filters that uh, you need to uh, switch out now right here we're actually going to click on it just so i can uh, show you this but the filter itself will basically detect when the filter needs to be changed like those buttons it'll let you know when it needs to be changed when that happens that you just uh, pull it out and replace it with another filter next we have the uh, knife set this is a more stylish looking one but you know it has every single knife that you would need in addition to uh, scissors and a uh, pizza cutter so that's great to have next we have uh for people who are more chef like they need a cutting board they have this measuring cup something to hold your utensils in now i don't use that to hold like forks and stuff i use that to hold these in so it's good to have you got the dish rag because everything that i've shown so far a lot of dishes so when they're washed you want to be able to put them somewhere so that they can uh, dry and here's the thing when you provide stuff like this for guests they actually will use it it's when you don't provide this stuff when things tend to be more messy so just give the guests what they need to take care of the place and oftentimes they will next we have the uh, wine glasses generally speaking you want to make sure you have at least a uh, four because they're very well used by everyone there's not even a core customer avatar that these are geared towards everyone tends to uh, want wine glasses so you want to make sure you have them next we have the uh, toaster and this kind of gets into the uh, the core of the place but a lot of people don't utilize having fake plants and it's something that can you know add to the theme of a place without necessarily uh, obviously having to water like real plants the uh, real plants would require maintenance but uh the fake plants can uh, set like a certain tone in the place and they're not actually interacted with that much so they rarely really need to be replaced so that's uh, that's good to know also good to have you have the uh, coffee table that's in the middle of the unit which uh, fits in uh, pretty great you have the electric uh, kettle which uh, people can use to make tea and also um, hot water of course we have the iron board and the iron that's really uh, critical for my customer avatar especially people who are going out coming to town for business reasons but even uh, still a lot of people just want to have access to this even leisure travelers i don't have it in the kit i'll add it once i finish this video but um i also have lint rollers in my units because people want to be looking lint free when they do step out now we're going to move over to the uh, bathroom things before i go there though i want to say that everything in the kitchen and living room areas it's a lot of stuff but this is the reason that i've actually attracted some monthly bookings like all this stuff is what someone needs to uh, sustain themselves so a lot of this stuff if you put them in there you'll be catering towards you know people who may want to stay monthly and obviously the people will stay in shorter term wouldn't mind that stuff being in there so just uh, just think about that you know, your monthly bookings are very valuable during a uh, slow season. So moving on to the uh, bathroom stuff, we have uh, Q-tips. It's one of those things that people don't think about, but your guests will appreciate it. You got the plunger. You just want to have it on standby. Like if something happens and you have a plunger, well, the guests may actually be able to fix it themselves if they know how to use a plunger. If not, you end up having to take care of it anyway. But the point is you would have to come in with a plunger. So why, why not just have it there or maintenance or your maintenance guy or whoever plunger just needs to be there next you want to have make sure a toilet brush is there for cleaning uh this is supposed to be in the kitchen area but uh, you do want to make sure you have a, a coffee maker now i actually don't provide a uh, coffee i'll provide something else but uh, we'll get to that in a moment next we have the uh, shampoo we have the bathroom utensils you have the bathroom decor in there you want to make sure you have a uh, soap available as well as somewhere to uh, put their um, toothbrush and um a little bonus i have i added this since i came out during the pandemic and afterwards i just kept it there but having a hand sanitizer in the bathroom too is a uh, great plus because uh, some people would rather actually just use the hand sanitizer to be completely like bacteria free rather than use soap give them the option make sure you have a trash can in the bathroom and uh this is one of those things that really helps have a hamper that it doesn't have to be in the bathroom but have it be somewhere close to the bathroom because if you don't people will just leave their dirty towels on the bathroom floor creates a bigger problem for your housekeepers and then you know creates like that mildew smell and then, then you're gonna have to get out of the unit uh once the guest is finished staying there but if there's a hamper uh some people will use it if uh, people aren't using the hamper you can write 
you can uh, print out a piece of paper and type dirty towels go here and tape it on the hamper people will use it i know you're wondering like why should you go that far some people are you would think they see it and it clicks but don't assume because it doesn't for some people swinging back to the uh, coffee so i actually don't provide coffee because um coffee is very bad for you actually and i don't really want to be contributing to harming people's health in that way now i want y'all to know that i am leaving money on the table if you provide coffee then um you may get more bookings you may get uh which will generate some more money i just don't want to provide it but i do provide coffee alternatives as you can uh, see here and uh, believe it or not uh, people actually are trying out these coffee alternatives because they get used so they either try these alternative coffees get the same effect you know maybe they'll start using it from now on who knows or they don't use it and i don't have to replace it so either way i think it's a win-win <laughs> I have a stevia as a sugar as a sweetener that they can add and as far as soap for the bathroom i always like to go with a dr jacobs natural pure castell liquid soap gel i uh, used to have this and also the solid soap version but uh, the solid soap version it ends up just getting wasted because people like the benefit of the physical version is you can reuse it over and over and over again but someone that's not staying that long is only going to use it a few times and then they they leave it there they don't take it with them so it's like well that soap can't be used anymore because once someone uses a physical soap it's theirs if they don't want it it's got to go in the trash so it's just better just to have the liquid soap available because they just pour what they need on a towel take care of their business but the container for the liquid soap and the soap in there could still be used for other people scrolling down we have the uh floss and a lot of people really like this type of floss where they just get it like that keep that on standby it's these little things that people appreciate same goes for the shower caps a lot of people don't think about like uh when it, they don't think about women when they shower and almost every woman i know showers with a shower cap but they may have forgotten it back at home or they just don't have one if uh, you have this available it's these little things that uh, will cause them to leave you a five-star review when they may not have left the review at all speaking of a uh, women we have the uh, curling iron, the hair dryer, and uh, we have this that they can have access to and they very much uh, appreciate it. And uh, last but definitely not least, we have the uh, security for the property. So I have a ring camera set out side of all my units so I can see who's coming and who's going. And uh, I also have the minute system, which is a sound detection system that, that you can use to detect like sound levels in an apartment. So if it's getting too loud in there, they may be throwing a party or maybe disturb, disturb the neighbors. You can let them know, like, hey, can you quiet down? And the ring camera, I think it's, you know, pretty self-explanatory. That's a uh, basic uh, security. But that concludes um, all the things that I have in my units as far as amenities go. And also just things that are good to have. Are you an Airbnb host? And do you have things in your unit that I didn't cover? Let's uh, talk about it in the comment section below. I mean... As hosts, we got to help each other out and help the up and coming new hosts that are about to get out there so that they can start off on the right foot. But if you have any questions or comments, or if you have any interest in anything that we've covered in this video, just click the link in the description or the pinned comment and you can go exactly to where I was. And then you can go to mykit.co where you can access these things. With that being said, this has been Elijah with Financial Anatomy. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. If you want to know more information about how to be an Airbnb host, be profitable, make some good money and serve your guests in a better way. I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to get out there and take control of your financial destiny.